What's going on, Minties? The Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. And today, I'm going to do a quick overview of Tom King's Mr. Miracle. This is the hardcover edition. So, stay tuned. Okay, let's do a quick little overview of the build and the contents of the book. Let's see here. Here is your dust jacket. Um, I'm sure you can see it. It's got this little, yeah, hint of dark side is. I really like that. I think that's a nice little touch. What I will say that I don't like about the dust jacket right off the bat is this thing right here that looks like a sticker and much like the trade paperback that came out cannot be peeled off. It is part of the dust jacket. Why DC? Why? This is a standalone story. All 12 issues are included in here. And let's look at it under the dust jacket. And the retail price of this is $34.99 by the way. Here it is under the dust jacket. Yeah, I like the color. It's very much similar to the colors that they used within the book. Let's look at the binding of the book really quick. And there's the binding. So for a book like this, it's very typical because this is glued binding. And it holds together rather well. All 12 issues are included in here. Plus the director's cut, which just has extras and things. And you can probably tell right off the bat this is a standard size hardcover. And here it is compared to a DC and a Marvel book. Sadly, not oversized, which is really disappointing. So let's look in here. Try not to flip through too much. Um, so I think I really enjoyed what Tom King did with the character. I wasn't very familiar with the character of Mr. Miracle other than his years in the Justice League International. And of course, the Grant Morrison Secret 7 book. Or seven, I'm sorry, seven soldiers book. But I like the way that he works with his artists. So at the beginning, this is not Mitch Gerard, by the way. This is just retelling the origin of Mr. Miracle. And he does it in like these little TV tube panels. And then it kicks off with Mr. Miracle number one, which is Mitch Gerard's. He does the pencils, the inks, and the colors. Now, when you get to this, it becomes, and this is where the dark side is, comes from a nine panel page every page is a nine panel page it's probably one of the best uses of the nine panels page that i've ever seen i love the way that he even cheats a little bit by sometimes crossing over between panels or just showing an overall big picture and splitting it up into nine panels very nice Mitch Gerard, or I'm sorry, Tom King playing a Mitch Gerard strengths. It's a psychological look at the inside of Mr. Miracle. Probably one of the most important books I've read in a long time. Oh yeah, I love this. The Jack Kirby kid comics will break your heart. I think it was taken from some kind of interview he did when he was just joking. So, you know, it's very mature. It's about depression and suicide and just like the inner workings of a man and his life with his lovely lady big barda so how do i describe mr miracle by tom king well um uh, as i mentioned earlier i wasn't really familiar with the character of mr miracle other than his earlier appearances that i've read him you know when he was just kind of a side character so this is my first time really reading a scott free book and i was i didn't i wasn't big into the jack kirby universe and things like that so I think at the very beginning, he does an amazing job of reintroducing people to the character that aren't familiar with him. And then he just does his own thing. And it stops being about this giant war, which I mean, yes, the overall plot is this giant war that's taking place in Apocalypse. And Scott Free, being the son of Darkseid, is summoned there with Big Barda. And he has to choose sides. Let's go over here. But that's not what the story is about. The story is actually about this man trying to live his life on Earth as normal as possible. And yeah, that, that's practically what his life really is. And then you start getting hints as to what is real, what is not. So it's kind of a, like a psychological trip inside of his head. And I really enjoy that. So I don't want to say much more after that. I think that's enough. Um to say about the book it's just a wonderful read and i highly highly recommend it again one of the best reads i've had in a long time and probably my favorite book that i've read this year 
I love this book so much. Immediately after I got done with it, um, I passed it on to my wife. And and then Amanda ended up with it, and we all ended up loving it. I know Maddie from the show also loves it. One of my favorite things about it is that Scott Free, Mr. Miracle, has these awesome t-shirts, and I own a couple of them. He always wears a DC superhero shirt. I don't want to flip too much through here because I know it's going to ruin something. So let's look at the back here. Yeah, we're going to look at the variant covers. I think that's playing it safe. Some gorgeous Mitch Gerard variant covers. And then the breakdown on the cover art. So very, this is exactly the same content you find in the trade paperback. It's the same size as the trade paperback. You are gaining nothing from this other than the hardback. And that's it. And sadly, I think most retailers are sold out of this. And so if you want to try it at a comic book store, you can. Yeah, there's the Green Lantern shirt that he wears. See, that's awesome. Um, I know that there's a Barnes & Noble exclusive hardcover, too, coming out. So, you could try to get it that way. And that was it. That was the contents of the book. Everything included and in the hardcover format. And like I said, it's no bigger than a trade paperback. So, let me know in the comments down below if you decided to get this. Or if you're going to try to get the Barnes & Noble edition. This is, like I said, probably still available at comic book stores. I know they're sold out at online retailers. And hopefully we'll get an oversized hardcover one day. Again, this was The Uncanny Omar. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint. <laughs>